In this video, I'd like to go over how to find missing angles in quadrilaterals. The first piece of information that you'll need is that the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral equal 360 degrees. So when you add angle A plus angle B plus angle C and angle D, that equals 360 degrees. So you can use this in order to find missing angles. Okay, so let's work an example problem. A trapezoid has two 45 degree angles and a 100 degree angle. What is the measure of the missing angle? So I'm going to use the, the fact that angle A and angle B and angle C and angle D all equal 360 degrees. I will plug in the numbers I know, 45, 100, 45, and the missing angle I will call X and I will set all this equal to 360 degrees. Now I just solve the equation. I will first combine like terms so 45 plus 100 plus 45 is 190 and then I will get variables to the left of the equal sign and numbers to the right. In order to get X by itself I will subtract 190 from both sides when I bring down the numbers, that gives me x is equal to 170 degrees. Next, I will check my work. So when I add the numbers, 45 plus 100 is 145, plus 45 is 190, 190 plus 170 is 360. So the missing angle does equal 170 degrees for this trapezoid. Okay. In this example, I have a parallelogram that has two 45 degree angles. Find the measure of the missing angles. Okay, in this example, I've only got two angles given, but it is a parallelogram and opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. So I will set it up just like I did the previous question and plug in the numbers I have. So I will go 42 plus X plus 42 plus X equals 360 degrees. Again, I will combine like terms, so 42 plus 42 is 84, and x plus x is 2x. I then will try to get the variables to the left and numbers to the right of the equal sign. In order to have numbers to the right of the equal sign, I will subtract 84 from both sides, and when I bring down the numbers, I'm left with 2x is equal to 276. Now I want to get the x by itself so I will divide both sides by 2 and now when I divide both sides by 2 I'm left with x is equal to 138 degrees. So now if x is 138 degrees I will plug that in as angle B and I know that it is congruent with angle D so it also is 138 degrees. And finally, when I check my work, 138 plus 138 plus 42 plus 42 does equal 360 degrees. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.